hey it's been a while and uh, honestly it doesn't make sense for me to make this video because i had no plan in making a video and it's been about like two three weeks since i made my last video and i really didn't want my channel to die so that's why i'm making uh, just uploading for the sake of it and i really want to say that i don't know what i'm doing with my life there is this sort of midlife crisis that people have in their 30s where uh, they work the job that they don't like and then they date someone they are not really interested in because of pre peer pressure and then they are sort of in this position where they don't know what they are doing with their life they don't know if they want to continue doing what they are doing which is uh, go to the job that they hate and try to break a career in it and probably marry the person that they are dating whom they are not completely attracted to but they are just dating for the sake of societal norms and to keep their parents happy so they come and so there is this bit of a situation where they are not really happy with how their life is going but then they can't do anything about it because they are restricted to contracts and commitment and a whole other stuff that they have invested years into and now if they back off it's all going to go to waste and it's just really conflicting as a person to do something from that point on like you don't know if you want to break out of uh, your job and start a business or if you just want to keep doing what you want to keep doing and uh, i think this has been a problem for many of the people in the world and uh, i am scared of being one of them and as of now i don't know how it is going to be because um like i seriously like i had an opportunity to date someone who i didn't like and i kind of knew i didn't like her but like it was because of peer pressure i i dated her for a week but then i knew it was wrong i knew like this was going nowhere so i broke up with her and uh, i really see that as a black mark in my history you know it would have been cool to you know call myself single my whole life even as a joke but like no i, I can't do that uh, uh, but i just have to pretend i didn't date her which is kind of awkward if you going to be honest but like it has to be done because i don't want to date someone i don't like i don't want to live with someone i don't basically respect and uh, that is something that i have to consider with the thing i do too like my job and as of now i don't have a job i'm still in college first year i still have like 3 years to go but still i don't know if this is the right thing for me i don't know if i want to go into this line where like once if i enter i mean if if i think about it i can i can leave it but like once if i enter it's going to be basically the rest of my life so i i really don't know how i should be approaching it and uh, my dandruff pro up get rid of dandruff uh yeah so there was i um yeah i don't really know if that's what i want to do and i'm basically having a midlife crisis right now but i'm not in mid of my life i'm still starting out so uh, yeah it's it's just sort of uh i don't know like really self conflict thing i've been writing a lot um not really anything related to what i've been feeling but like i i like to put my thoughts out in paper uh through surrealism if you don't know what surrealism is i'm not pronouncing it right but like it's something like dream like where uh things are very random they just happen it's like you're having a dream you're in a mountain being chased by a lot of people and then all of a sudden you turn back all of the people who are chasing you turn into trees and then those trees leave out cement and you're walking through it you know just random stuff it doesn't really logically make sense in real world but like it makes sense in the dream world uh, which is basically a subconscious version of what your ideal reality is or what conflict you've been going through so i i write stuff like that and uh, honestly i don't even know what that means but like it it's there it is there uh, i will let you guys read it once in a while I, it's not going to be today but like i just wanted to let you know but that i'm writing it out i'm like i'm letting all my frustrations out on a piece of paper on on a document on typing on a document so that is i don't think that's helpful i don't know if it's helpful to be honest but like that is something i've been trying to cope up with what i've been dealing with right now and uh, tomorrow i have college obviously i have so many assignments bro i don't even know if i like the subject 
yeah fucking chemistry max electronics bro i don't even know if i want to study those subjects in future bro but like i i still have to do all my assignments properly because i got my first results and they're not bad so i have to maintain those results for the next four years or else it's it's going to fall down like as i said if you're working a job you can't really quit because you put all those years in that if you quit now chances are there are huge chances that all of those years that you put in that work will go down the drains and there is nothing really you could do to help it so right now i am kind of in this trap you know i'm chained to my to my responsibilities that i have to you know at least score well in my exams and shit so yeah that's just a food for thought and uh, that's what i wanted to say bye